Uh, that's our time on Saturday sounding good all the time. Um, yeah, this is the Chief Air Marshal on the 7 on your number one station. Now we are live on Facebook. You can check us out right now on my page, DJ All the 7 Star FM Facebook page, and also Star FM Facebook page. We are back again with uh, the hottest and most happening show in the land on the spot. Yesterday I hosted um, the legend, uh, you know, uh, Amai Jesse Mungoshi. Uh, do check out the interview on my YouTube channel in case you missed it. It's there on my YouTube. I'm super excited to be joined in studio by a singer, songwriter, the baddest producer in, in South Africa right now. He has been uh, flying our flag high and has been uh, doing extremely well. You know, he has worked with uh, so many talented artists from South Africa, the likes of uh, Makazi, Zanda Zakuza, Master KG, Nom Trebo, Capsa uh, Dismo, uh, Prince Benza, uh, amongst others. He has um, some hits, you know. Uh, such as Mosho Manajiri Zabanaba just now, um, which has gained popularity since its release. Rain on Me, Tandolwami, Ngue, Ditapelo, uh, amongst others. Zagawati Wande, Zagawandisa. So I'm talking about the unsung creative behind hits such as uh, Magia, Kuchinja Magia. You know that song? Uh, Murahu. Uh, born Lino Siwela is the one and only South African based uh, Mount Talented Mr. Brown. Known for his uh, tagline, Hey, Mr. Brown, you want to make something sick? <laughs> <laughs> He's in the building. <laughs> Mr. Brown. Yeah, yeah, How yeah. How are yeah. you? It's a pleasure to have you on my show, my brother. How are you? I'm doing great in yourself, Mr. Uh, no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. My yeah. name is South Africa. Ah, hey, tattoo and go at him, Zimbabwe. What do you mean, man? Go, but got to be grave. I will do a tattoo and as a cow. Sapana, I guys, I'm going to be a bit of 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 a yeah, everything is smooth there. Uh, great. And uh, correct me if, if I'm wrong. Um, mm. I think you have managed to. I mean, you. I mean, you, you've managed your brand uh, so well uh, that I'm, I'm assuming South Africa has become your second home right, right now. It's actually my first home now. It's your first home. What yeah. do you mean? Explain in to me. In terms of music. Uh -huh. uh, my first home in terms of where I'm born and my roots. Uh -huh. uh, it's Zimbabwe. Uh -huh. But my first home in terms of music is South Africa. South Africa. Yeah, that's where I broke. Wow. We're going to we will tap into that very soon. Mm. So, which part of South Africa are you based in? I'm staying in Centurion mm -hmm. and Pretoria. Oh, Centurion. Yeah. Okay, I know the place. Mm. Way, way, <laughs> <Yeah>. way. <laughs> yes, I know I've been there, so I know some 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 corners there. <laughs> yeah. So, in some of your songs, uh, my brother, mm. uh, you sing in Zulu, yeah. uh, Sotu, mm. and uh, Pedi. Is that Spedi, right? yeah. Spedi, yeah. So Kilobedu, it, actually. It's, it's Kilobedu. There's a Spedi, there's <laughs> Kilobedu. Oh. Yeah. That uh, it's two different types of spady. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, I see. Kilobedu, so, their grandfathers are mostly, some of them, they're from Zimbabwe. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, are you are you Kuluma Valley? Ah, Gangan, Gangan. <laughs> but you got out of the bow, Baiza Baiza. Ah, me, I was just very, you know, um, I say stubborn mm -hmm. to learn. <laughs> to learn. <laughs> I know you always, uh, you know, say you are from Gueru. Yes. Uh, but I've heard rumors that, uh, you know, your hometown is Chegu. To please no, 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 clarify no. for us, Mr. Brown. Which I'm is, born in Gueru. Mm -hmm. I went to school in Gueru. Mm -hmm. But my grandfathers have a house in Chegu too. Okay. So when my mom was living to Botswana, mm -hmm. in Botswana, yeah. Mm. So they had to put us in my chamber. Yes, yes. yes. So Sando that's why I ended up coming to Chegutu. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you to Yes, I stayed quite a while. Mm -hmm. I think from Chivva to Chegutu, that's mm -hmm. where I went to SA. Oh, mm. I see. As I've mentioned uh, in my introduction, you are one of the most talented uh, producers we have in our country uh, who have made it you know, in foreign land. Because South Africa, it's not easy, but you know, the market is mm. go. But I want to know how it all started. Uh, maybe what influenced you to start music? People want to think about Kanawa Superstar, everything was easy and smooth. Mm -hmm. But uh, mm -hmm. and, uh, I've went through mm -hmm. I've also have my challenges. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I think every musician has a story I get to tell. Mm -hmm. It was not easy. But I think uh, I wanted to one day uh, I just want to become a superstar. Yeah. And then I did not look at the situation yangu background. Mm -hmm. I mean, I say, mm -hmm. I just wanted to, like, and in Aktumbo move on the situation. Yeah. Yeah. So when I left uh, Zim to SA, mm -hmm. it was not easy. 
at now to farm was mm-hmm. So when we went to SA, Tagadam mm-hmm. Botswaka Mama Basa, I'm a dreadlock specialist, by the okay. way. Wow. Yeah, that was my first work. So oh, 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 that's, oh, like, oh, ah, that's very small. I, I can tell you that she's doing crochet. <laughs> yeah. So I, I, I started doing dreadlocks. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you go foreign land, you can't just go there and mm-hmm. say, I know how to play. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. That time I was not even known in Zimbabwe. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, obviously, they obvious. if you're not, not known in Zim or mm-hmm. whatever, wherever, yeah. you're still starting. Yeah. I couldn't actually celebrate. Mm-hmm. So, you had to do anything, whatever it takes mm-hmm. for you to get something in the pocket. Yeah. So, in those and then I had to look for something to do. Mm-hmm. And then I found some Rasta guy called Nicholas. Mm-hmm. Nicholas is the one that gave me the first opportunity. Mm to come to the saloon she played around guitar she was able to cover songs mm-hmm. and then she bought her to my mother to show my show yeah, my toto yeah, yeah. yeah i used to perform even for 100 rand mm. for that time yeah 100 rand yes wow that's like five bucks and i used to stay in the place called schubert schubert flats mm-hmm. like i'm tv i shouldn't see the way i guess or one of us who evacuated from there mm-hmm. Nearly purpose in the environment, like a quest of Garavan, okay. Healthy wise, yes. I was staying there in a oh. basement, yeah. Wow, yeah. So, people, when I was going out, you are a superstar right now. You're working with the likes of mm-hmm. Akon, yeah. Steph Lindon, whatever, mm-hmm. yeah. But they don't know the background behind the person, <laughs> yeah. Wow, yeah. So, from there, that's where I started doing my covers. Jita, mm-hmm. uh, my basking, I go to clubs. Mm-hmm. Check out my gig, my weddings, and everything like mm-hmm. that until mm-hmm. I discovered I was discovered by Bongo Beats from Mungo Bongo Africa. Beats. Yes. Wow. Then <coughs> you joined forces. Bongo Beats told me to come to the studio. Mm-hmm. He was part of Mungo Africa. So he said to me, "Come through. Mm-hmm. Let's work on something." That's where I did Mteuro. Okay. Oh, Razaro. And in a Exactly. That hey, one. Exactly. Yeah, that was my song. first break song. You, you're the one who did that. Yes, it's me. There was a time so, someone claimed it, I've, I've, I've done the song. Ah, who was that? I can't remember the name. Someone was claiming it is you. There's even a video for that. Oh. Mm. <laughs> so how old were you then, Pocket of South Africa? Um, I can say I was around my 20s. Mm-hmm. Yes. So when it started, um, is it something you know you wanted to do as a profession, like now, or it was just you know for fun? What music? Music. I started doing music in Dirikuno, mm-hmm. and I remember I used to come knock knock for doors mm-hmm. in other studios long time ago. Mm-hmm. And they were like, ah, no, you're not yet there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you were not yet. What is why would Yeah. But um, quit a music, uh, Mr. Brown. Is it uh, for fun or it is your profession? Now it's business. It was for for the start, ne. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was for fun. Mm-hmm. It was something that I wanted to do. Just love doing. Farangoito mm-hmm. music. Mm-hmm. Music or my beats? It was music before my beats. Mm-hmm. Because when I blast one way in a group and so panorama. Okay. It won. It, it took number five mm-hmm. on crossroads. Oh. Pagainda mukomba ku Sweden first. Toye mukomba na trust. I was part of that uh, movement. Okay. Because <coughs> mm. I even. I used to even do my gigs on a rocky when they were still doing a nasty trick long time yes, ago. Yes, yes. And that shouldn't fall and she didn't my grade six. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so they, my brother went going to the end the show. Mm-hmm. Nana HK, kwe, kwe. Yes. We used to do my shows Nana HK. Kunana Nigrini um MSU. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So and that shouldn't fun. And mom's gonna scar far in the music because I was still here. Oh so that's <laughs> why I started. You go it yet? Then I started doing and I uh-huh. keep on doing. Okay, so we, I mean, uh, Mr. Brown, tell me something. Uh, where does your strength, you know, lie? Are you more of a producer than a musician? Uh, where do you strive more? I don't have where I strive more. Mm. I'm both. I'm both good in both ways. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm good in both ways. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm good in comes to vocal. That's mm-hmm. why most of the production that I do, mm-hmm. either for my cards, I have a hand. The two direct my vocals, the two it out my melodies, and I also there's even more songs I've written for my cards. Oh, yeah, like Mama, the mm-hmm. song on Mama, mm-hmm. I wrote that fully. Yeah. So yeah, so I'm I'm actually both, <laughs> and I can actually play guitar, proper. Which one? Uh, bass, acoustic. Re- acoustic. Yeah. Wow. You're talented, my guy. So let's talk about the n- name Mr. Brown. Where does it come from? Uh, come from? Mr. Brown was supposed to be rebranding my name from Lino. 
mm-hmm. because I was Linus Tuela. That's my name, mm-hmm. and say name. So, Linus Tuela was a solo career before I joined Move Africa. Okay. So I started as Linus Tuela. That's where you have Lazaro mm-hmm. with Win. It's featuring Linus Tuela in yeah. Busiso. Mm-hmm. So from there, Dakazo uh, joined Mungo Africa. Then we did Daliwa mm-hmm. Miwe, a lot of his. You got a footy Lazaro remix, mm-hmm. Nani Niola from Nigeria. Nigeria, yeah. Uh, then from there, Pakazo it a clash mm-hmm. between the group because in Inini, I was also being underrated mm. in the group mm. because obviously you're working with someone yeah, yeah. and that other person is a producer a producer mm-hmm. so kurira na go kuti hey, no me. yeah so i decided to take a solo career mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so my bosses was like dude do you know even how to touch a laptop mm. or whatever i said mm. dude i can produce yeah i said no so uh let's get your student see what you can do from mm-hmm. there that's where the my solo career started so and they had to rebrand me from nine or two to mr brown yeah also you were given that name by the we we suggested all of mm-hmm. us which one works because i had mm-hmm. uh before nandine's Taraguti brown mm-hmm. there's a nickname okay yeah because there's a time in the garden was peace i'm sorry okay the brown the garden with anguwa shindaku hospital yeah i'm sorry ah yeah brown so the brother is starting nickname you know? okay yeah this one's mr brown Exactly. So take us through your journey, you know, uh yeah. South Africa. Yeah. Was it because we don't talk about greener pastures or maybe we don't talk about you know penetrating music wise? It was music. Mm-hmm. Yeah, South Africa. I think everything that I do no prophesy about my life mm-hmm. mostly. Because I told my mom one day that I'm gonna be a superstar. Mm. And people that were going to test the past right now, mm-hmm. they're going to look upon me in future. Yeah. So I already have that vision mm. when I was growing up. Because I used to play guitars going past bridge mm-hmm. to play. And people were like, hey, she, 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 she. Exactly, but I, exactly. Yeah. Mm. But I even, even prophesied that myself. I don't know if it's a prophecy or just like mm-hmm. a vision that you see. You gotta do, I'm going to have a woman from South Africa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so those, those are guys. So I know for a fact, my brother, that, uh, I- that it's not easy, you know, Mr. Brown, uh, mm. to build a brand from scratch, especially in a foreign land like South mm. Africa. It requires a lot of work. Mm. Uh, what was it like for you when you started? Uh, if you're in foreign land, the best way to do is to stay away from your own brothers. Mm. Yes. What do you mean? Because... Uh, everyone is, who's in SA is there for his own reason. Mm-hmm. So they can't tell you what to do. Because mm-hmm. Mesa mm-hmm. yeah. Yes. So how do you penetrate country, mm-hmm. your South Africans, mm-hmm. in, in that foreign land? Yeah. You see. So for you to penetrate there, you need to start learning the culture. Mm-hmm. Right. This is what they like mm-hmm. and all this stuff. Mm-hmm. To the extent where they start appreciating you as their mm-hmm. brothers. So no Zagaitika the extent where they started trusting me in their mm-hmm. production and everything yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. So did you have someone, you know, who guided you through it all? No, man, I was on my own. Mm. Yeah, I was on my own. <laughs> yeah, then they yeah. Who was the first South African big artist, you know, you met? It was King Munada. King Munada? Yes. I uh, don't remember first production at King Munada, Scampo mm-hmm. America was part of the co production. Okay. And then from King Munada, there was Double Trouble. Mm hmm. Be careful, and then from there, that's where I worked on Master KG, and I uh, was the first producer to break his first song, mm-hmm. Skeleton Move. I was the fifty percent producer of that song. Oh, I do Tarisa. Why, why? I'm not doing some of the Zangari. Jika Majika. Yeah, I was part of the production. Wow. So that's where Master KG Pakas with Tachi. Hit. Akavai Hita, and I was the first producer. Kuti Uza Master KG Kuti. Wanito Amos is your trademark. Oh. Yes, it was me. Yeah, I don't have to It was me. What does it mean? Wandins are right. Well, does not want, oh, it was Wandins are right. Oh. Yeah. But it's it's not in his language. Uh-huh. It's it's a uh, Tsonga uh-huh. language, that one. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. So. Tsonga is spoken in um, Limpopo, right? In Limpopo, but okay. in Limpopo, it is divided into yeah. three cultures. Oh, yeah, There's yeah. Uh, Venda. Venda, that is uh, Pedi, mm-hmm. and, Tsonga. and there's Tsonga. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So it's in Tonga side, mm-hmm. Giani side, Papa oh. Peni side. Oh, yeah. ah, I see. Yeah. Also, yeah, okay, Saga is big. Boys and Master KG is now big. And when you look at 
kuma like my artists are getting now master gage you like okay these are the big artists right now are going to South Africa yeah so to daro so i know for a fact that uh, you have created uh, magic together with makazi as well like you've mentioned mm. how did the true of you you know Med. No second that talent, I started work with Master KG before mm-hmm. Makadz. Before Makadz, yeah. So to the extent where by music I can release and in that time my mixing, my co-production, I was directing, doing everything. Mm-hmm. So Makadz knew that he couldn't face around the brow. Mm-hmm. I'll go to the KG and everything, this and this and that. Mm-hmm. Uh, a fight amongst the two. Mm-hmm. Angasina produce. Okay. That's when she contacted me. Mm-hmm. And Pamawira kai to kwandiri it was just eh shanga zvinhu ngori fani. Mhm. Angu Brown, if you own na KG mukasa produce some music, I'm going to produce my music. Exactly. So I thought maybe she really wants to work with both of us. Oh yeah. So I didn't know that wanga tuna conflict. Oh, anga ripo yes. And then I did. I ended up doing the whole album mm-hmm. Kokoba, which is like double platinum set. Wow. wow. Yeah. Yay, double yeah. platinum. It's still the greatest of all time. In South Africa, yes, my brother. <laughs> so you are behind many of Makadzi's uh, hit uh, hit songs. My hit songs are like wonder, you know. You are the man behind it, and I want to take this opportunity, my brother, to appreciate your work. You're doing very well. Thank you so much. You're doing very well. Yeah. yeah. To what extent do you think you contributed in her rise to fame? People always say that, but I don't want to say that I. We helped each other. Mm-hmm. She helped me, and I helped her. Yeah. So, without. Energy, okay. Mm-hmm. Maybe there was not going to be Mr. Brown right mm-hmm. now. Without my also effort and everything, mm-hmm. there was not going to be also my cards again yeah. with that kind of songs, my Manamrao, mm-hmm. the songs of the air. Yeah. And we have an Afrima. Mm-hmm. We took an Afrima. Um, so I think both of us we played a part. And uh, both of you, you are music, uh, you know, geniuses. I'm not Manya. I'm genius, the music. Uh, what is the atmosphere like when creatives under one? One roof. Uh, Makazi, I think she's a great artist. Mm-hmm. And Moon, uh, I think she's the one of the artists that got on the Kwansi Kushanda very mm-hmm. fast. Okay. I must be very creative. No fun at creative. Mm-hmm. And because I tell come studio, right? I mm-hmm. come studio. You must have three or five beats. Wow. Because when she finished the first one, must mm-hmm. go to the second one. Wow. So I end up to the extent whereby I don't go create my melody, but mm-hmm. not key, key. metronome. Mm. Just di, 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 auto yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I do on a song after three, four, five days, they appear. Ask that was the song I record. Yeah, yeah. That was the guys I say. Yeah. that was that I follow up on my features. Mm-hmm. Like my features, as an uh, uh, big Zulu. I'm the mm-hmm. one that was calling big Zulu. Oh. Yes, because I got brown. Mm-hmm. The inbox on a big Zulu. Mm-hmm. To that with a. Collaboration, I because yeah. she's I take follow up. Oh, yeah. Ah, no. Chet, yeah. So I don't pay that. So me and Dindo Vala facilitated My that follow ups. Dindo mm-hmm. Fona Big Zulu. Yo, ask to that song at the feature in the EP. Dindo Fona, I had no song at the so my cousin had to pin the person. I got it. No one had to send them a first in a big Zulu. Big Zulu, I don't say. He had no I had to ask a price. So that's ah. how I, I work with my cousin. But song, I don't pay. Yeah, and don't force some of the features because uh-huh. the, there's a feature, taka, I think, taka lose a feature. You mm-hmm. have Diamond Platinum. You wanted to I got to boom. I got to boom inbox. So mm-hmm. I got to boom South Africa. Then I made them a platinum to tell her, like, mm-hmm. Yes, we can do a feature. Yeah. But because she, she's a busy woman, mm-hmm. she needs someone yeah. to be always in yeah. charge. Yeah, yeah. And I make sure the, the music is going. Yeah. So I think I was with my cousin, there is too much effort. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was putting so much effort. Why? I think energy, okay. Energy, like. Angangori inspiration for mm-hmm. me because oh, yeah. from his yeah. background story, I came to Amboriza. I can't believe that such gure gure. Oh, not gure, but to read some streets, my my stars, yeah, so to try to move. I'm sure you by social media number one of my pictures. Yeah, so did you want out to move? I need to read the vision. I got pain. Then I those guys out in the day. So how does it make you feel when you see your work coming to life? I think now that was jail. Mm-hmm. Right now we just talk about money. As long as it's about work, I'm good at that. Uh, that's jail. For me, it's no longer about fame. It's no longer about. That's why I can even walk around mm-hmm. wherever I wanna. Yeah. Because that place here, I'm not gonna marry I just become so freely to mm-hmm. do whatever I wanna do. Imomo. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But in regards that, this club is supposed to be paying me for this. I obviously I have to protect my brand for mm-hmm. that. So um. I'm going to question you. 
pa 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 mfundo nanchi kupa mm. eh nanchi kuvunza kakuti ti tinzwise kuti eh, unofeel un, un, say uchona ma ma works ago yeah, yeah, yeah. achita kuti achibuda achiwa to life yeah so for me when i mm-hmm. see my works going out need to forget mm-hmm. ah you know mari ndo ya ndi tuona that's very dear do to go and check Yeah. No, so, me it's about mm-hmm. money, bro. Like It's all about money. I don't listen to any other language. Uh-huh. Money. Money. <laughs> When you This uh, <laughs> <Mr. Brown, laughs> is after money. Yeah, I do that money. But mara. I think everyone do that money like money. to the extent where by I don't start working without any notification. Uh-huh. Um, okay. I don't mind you can book out news of pay for my umpari. I don't care. Okay. Card no pay for my paring but ever as long as it's a notification. Do we are. Do we are. So you have worked with uh, quite a number of uh, musicians from Zanda Zakuza, Nomtsebo, Zikore and uh, Mata KG mm. and a Prince Benza. Our very own um, Zandimaz. I mean, you know, uh, mm. the list is endless. Mm. Uh, how do you get artists to record in your studio? How? People call me, bro. Mm. Like Akon call me straight. Yeah. And it was just like for me I'm dreaming. Bro. Hey, the, okay, take it me was <laughs> take me back. Oh, so hey, this is Aikon? I can even show you my chats <laughs> now Aikon I talk to him every day. Wow. Aikon uh I can't join mm-hmm. after the production and getting a master KG. Mm-hmm. They have a feature together. Dova ato tra gana bazanga I think also team team re kamba ni kwangu rain the blocker then oh. they, they would, you know what I, I think panze. also the disadvantage yangu ni mostly it's about team re ko rain ba chin chance as a producer mm-hmm. so they were they were actually uno zo uno spoil you yeah. whatever yeah. you need don't mm-hmm. worry we safe we we'll give you uh-huh. to extend that they even bought me a bed for 50000 wow. rands wow <laughs> yeah they do not mind with nigga chakati they give me yeah nigga that motor they buy me but they will not pay you what you are due to mm. as a producer because you were a producer when guys got to your paperwork oh, okay yes they, they don't want to do anything about paperwork mm-hmm. so i think that's the reason why they t- delay to con- uh, like connect an icon because he was looking mm-hmm. for me yeah And then uh, Zanda is the one that linked mm-hmm. my number to the manager of oh, Echo. Yeah, yeah. And then I went for director Brown, I'm looking for you. Mm-hmm. Echo's going crazy over you. I want to do something wow. with you. Wow. They got to from God to road. I'm dreaming. Yeah. Do I to do Echo na Valoti Brown. I'm coming to South Africa. Mhm. Pani show I found at Echo to Cape Town mm-hmm. and they I got to work South Africa and I perform right. because he was offered one million rand. It was too small for oh, him. Oh, for him, yeah. Yeah. So he did not perform. Mm-hmm. So I can't shoot, uh, enjoy that. But mm-hmm. enjoy that, I got on the Neptunes. Yeah. The Vatan Fona Brown, I mean, Johannesburg, mm-hmm. please, I want to meet you before I leave yeah. back to uh, New York. Yeah. The Vandato take a, I got to see a motor and get, I don't want to drive. The Vandato take a Uber Black Young. Mm-hmm. They were not allowing any TV interviews or anything. Why do you want to go to the club? Who are you? Who are invited to none? So it was just a private music yeah. video shoot. Yeah. So when I went there, that's where I met uh, Akon. Akon. Mm-hmm. And I also met the late, uh, I don't know, uh, the guy who was doing my piano, the colored the white guy. Um... Costa Rica. Costa Tich. Yeah. Costa Tich. Yeah. First time to meet Costa Tich. Wow. And they were telling me that they're gonna sign him. They got, uh, that's a great uh, mm. move. Mm. Uh, then Pakato said, "No, Costa T. They told me that Costa is here with some sign. But uh, that's good. So Brown gonna be working with him. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, our buddy passed away. Shame. So that's how I met Ekon Kasangana mm-hmm. for the second day in mm-hmm. Senten, thirty time. Mm-hmm. Chisangan. Then third time, the Pakato said, 'I set up my studio. Actually, I don't care about Oh, they got it. I'm staying in a complex. Yeah." Yes, it's private, but I mean a complex, mm-hmm. but no garam complex. Yeah. You see, so complex is like, but no garam garam garamandis. Yeah. Yeah, but <laughs> even if they can be middle class or high class. <laughs> yes. But uh, they cannot, cause controller. Uh, 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 and I might be fun, uh, fine for that. <laughs> exactly. Ne 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 estate uh, yeah. owner. Oh yeah. So nigga, I know you can't come to my place, mm-hmm. and I can't take you to open mic because yes. this was a direct mm-hmm. link. So I'm gonna bring my studio to the. To the hotel, yeah. to the actually a uh, penthouse mm-hmm. in 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 uh, a center. The about twenty, you know, because mostly guys in South Africa, at late at night I don't drive. Mm. I normally Uber. Yeah. So I'd Uber there, went there, 
the nice setup to get to the uh, songs. Now, Econ. Yes. So, how, how many songs did you record with? Um, I have eight songs. Eight songs with Econ. I'm even doing the remix with the Dev Guetta and Dimitri Vegas. My I got guy. an email from Tomorrowland straight. My guy. Yeah, everything is here. I can show you. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, indeed. And now I understand why you were complaining that uh, you are not being appreciated in your home country, you know? I know why. Yeah, why? I know, I know why. Why? Um, I think, um, who knows, I would say, okay, at a certain level mm -hmm. in life, when you reach a certain level, mm -hmm. we are good to, the way I live my life in South Africa, mm -hmm. my, 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 uh, the musician, this is two mm -hmm. different things. Yeah. Me, I'm used to do three gigs yeah. in a night. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm going to from city to city. Mm -hmm. I'm used to that. So whenever given your your own opinion based to where you're coming mm -hmm. from, mm -hmm. well, people always think that you know you feel. Mm. But it's not like that. I'm that brand. I'm the person that speak to the president mm -hmm. straight. Yeah. I speak to the mayor of Polokwane straight. Mm. So I'm that kind of a guy. No matter how but mm -hmm. I'm way more, more professional. So wow. I'm going to go to Brown and get by stage okay. in a few minutes. Chagasiana. So there are so many you know, talented, pro talented producers in South Africa. Mm. And the new talent is emerging. We are new talent mm. every single day. Mm. The competition is stiff. Um, mm. How are you managing to stay afloat? Me, I'm not, I'm, I'm, you can't compete me with anything. Mm -hmm. I'm way more talented. Um, I know how to move with time. Mm -hmm. You know, from... To do that is sound you get at. And uh, sometimes the two person that don't sound the action team. Because in any most uh can only talent the city talent the utoka waka it waka you just break by mistake or yes. chance. Yes. It's it's difficult for you to always ramba or chirira. Mm -hmm. Right now as you speak in South Africa and the must it's in kai te. I'm not lying. <laughs> I'm playing to the extent that even December will be mm -hmm. still burning to December. December. I started every December a week and sing out one of the four or three songs I got on in Aripa Alice my song of the year. Mm -hmm. I remember the gamble to Tsamba from the government mm -hmm. for appreciation with the Brown. We see what you're doing. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you for being there for our South African government. Yes. Mm. Yeah. So um right now as you speak I have like three songs of the years. Now, South Africa, yes, three. I have Murao was a song of the year. Mm -hmm. I have Zibuya, Zibuya was a song mm -hmm. of the year. We have Magia now, is a song of the year. Mm -hmm. And I'm still taking again song of the year with Alec Machez and my cousins. In South Africa. Is it out yet? The, the, the song? Not yet. When is it coming out? That's a big feature, it doesn't have to come anytime soon. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I think she's gonna release it on the last song that she's gonna do. Because remember, before my cousin, mm -hmm. I released my songs like one, and uh, people yes. were complaining, yeah. Song. So now, at the point time, you could mm -hmm. write a good right. song. Yeah. Yeah. But my chest, so she told me straight to Brown, this mm -hmm. one, I can't just release it like that. Mm. This so one must usher me to December. In no, this song, I did it in SA. The one that you had in my files, you know, the one that you had in my files, like what I told you, mm -hmm. that I always follow up on yeah. everything that she... Exactly. Mm. And I'm the one that requested for that feature again. Oh. Yes. Because I remember when I was in Venda, mm -hmm. there was a guy called Zozo. Mm -hmm. Zozo. Mu Zimbabwean mm -hmm. party. He sings in Venda. Okay. I'm All right. Zozo is the biggest uh, Sungura in Venda. All right. So my cousin always look upon Zozo. No, yeah. but I'm uh, do you know Machis? Ah, oh, Machis is very, very big. Exactly. That, okay, yeah. Why can't we do something with the uh -huh. the African Queen album? Mm. Yeah. So uh, let's do something with mm -hmm. him. You know? I got yeah, no, no. But she, yeah. you know, I don't want to agree. But I has to follow up. And though that's the weakness. Mm. So in India because no man, this thing needs to be done. Yeah. Because to, if I say I wanna do this, I just fail it. Mm -hmm. so, mm. so where do you draw uh, your inspiration from? And then I was a fan and uh, he's so inspired by Oliver Mtubut. Mm -hmm. That's the truth. And um, inspired also by Mkanya mm -hmm. and inspired by Jabu Kanyele, mm -hmm. Brenda Fass and everyone. And they all have inspiration now. Yeah. Mm. So even when I was doing music, my covers and data it was for Oliver Mtuku, the whatever, because no one was inspired by the music mm -hmm. industry. So that's in South Africa, and I got different type of music, mm -hmm. you know, different type of, you know, 
different type of genres mm. my piano yeah. dance combo yeah i understand and a few months back, a few months back you hinted something you know about uh, you working with uh, lady gaga is that yes. so, that's all it was it was actually acon mm -hmm. uh connection oh so, so acon uh, so what, linked what, you up with the yes lady even gaga. dimitri vegas and dev creator is also acon pushing me for that wow but steph Landon uh that was actually rhymes my my brother mm -hmm. he's a zimbabwean producer yeah. doing big in the uk okay that said brown i need something from you for steph lindon mm -hmm. i'm working mm -hmm. on an album like dude yes i look upon you yeah. i'm so inspired by your works wow. let's work because i know uh rhymes and simba because mm -hmm. they used to come to SA. oh yeah yeah mm -hmm. brown where are you let's go out yeah you know so from there i think all the other international mm -hmm. uh collaboration is through echo Wow, ah, that's powerful. So how far are you, I mean, uh, the project here? Yeah. The problem with people, whenever you say something that you're working on this, <laughs> they want it as soon as possible. But you remember, <laughs> to my artistic America, and the, our artist here, uh -huh. the way they do business and with music, Wando mm -hmm. with three months ahead, we're going to release. Sometimes, even that song, enjoy that remix with the echo. The guy going to release you. Oh, yeah. What's that number? What's that number? Brown, send your, your passport the details. Today, uh -huh. my to split sheets. Now, yes. I'm sending it out. Mm -hmm. split sheets. First time to understand what BMI is all about wow. and other escape, you know, platforms in mm -hmm. America that collect royalties for yeah. artists yeah. worldwide. Mm. But don't it low, join there and that'll join up. I don't link up from there. I did not know the song was mm -hmm. I'm going to send a link by WhatsApp. Yeah. Then, the song is out. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so, right now, my brother, uh, Mr. Brown. Do you feel recognized and appreciated enough by your own people? You know, in I want to be recognized, mm -hmm. never know. Mm -hmm. Which is uh, uh, Zimbabwe? Yes. As you say, I'm going to 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 but remember, we did one van vasri. I remember one of the other was very say. Kuna mm -hmm. one who took a to Uka Shauda can cut any opinion about artists or no farrak. I don't store a personal personal. My fans is soccer, right? Uka see me again. You want to say, you know, no pass a TV. So remember, Kuna my fans, Angam South Africa, mm -hmm. they still don't even know good in the Ugu. But they know good. Ah, he shown and do. But you can go to Shik out as so to white as so to. Whiter side, no mm -hmm. problems. So you want to be appreciated, but you don't want to be recognized as a Zimbabwean. What happened? How, 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 what happened? How, 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 what happened is mm. I started becoming big in South Africa. Mm -hmm. I did not know that I was going to be big in South Africa. Yeah, big in South Africa. Is so thing. already, already there's a brand, Mr. Brown, in South Africa uh -huh. that is kicking. Okay, there's a saying. Hold on, there. There's mm. a saying that say that says. Um, you know, you can take me out of the ghetto, but what you can't, can't take the ghetto inside. That's me. why my music is speaking Shawana. Mm -hmm. That's me being proud of myself. Yeah. Dude, you know, there's things that you can't just say on TV. Mm -hmm. You understand? Even the, the, uh, um, uh, my, my situation at the says xenophobia. Yeah. As a journalist or whatever, mm -hmm. there's information that you can't just say to public yeah. for the fact of peace. Mm -hmm. You understand? I yeah. can't just go to radio station and I'm proudly Zimbabwe. Yeah. There's people that actually don't take that as what you think it is when it's too running when zero okay oh so first we had a total watch is that i'm with that big in south africa <laughs> let's let's, let's take an example watches. for uh, a cover billiard he's a soccer star he's probably zimbabwe no soccer playing and for big team soccer and music is two different things uh -huh. how so music industry the people that runs industry when a contract on oxygen is a kind of what you brenda as an international artist mm -hmm. Safana Guti, right now, Mr. Brown, is known as a South African best. Running mm. around certain things, she was going to teach you. Okay. And then if I had, if I had no to dance, I had no kanganisa, so I wanted to pay that we can't push you further because it's going to be difficult. Oh, because yeah. my stations, mm -hmm. I don't go actually, they want actually 100% money in South Africa. Okay. Yes. Oh, really? Yes. So I found a kind of station, not a speed. Mm -hmm. The guy can tell the jury go go. Why are you talking? Ah, why can't you? Don't you know even one? Exactly. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Yeah. So, vanu, I was supposed to get this down. Was I understand that? But you have to be proud of who you are. Who can she got you? So, in other words, you're saying while is I mean, whenever you're whenever you're in South Africa, you you want 
opening up. Opening they know. Up, say, Listen, they know mm. I'm, I'm from Zim. Mm-hmm. One of those Zendung Zim. But yeah, good tea. Oh, why, 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 why it wa grow big from that country? Oh, so she go down to Kunuanu. Ola. Yeah, but you know, good in Amezima. Do you know what? Yeah, so she is just for Kungo protect a certain mm-hmm. thing. Yeah. Yeah, someone says, uh, Ola, Mr. Brown is right. He's, he's protecting his brand. You're protecting your brand. Mm. So, yeah, why is it Muna with the appreciation? You know, you can't go on a Munica market. As a good thing when you get it, you know, it's not doing when you get me to not Munaya so fully and greatly appreciated. Why is it, you know? I think, um, I think, like in general, mm. my Zimbabweans, most of them, Varimunum, they don't really support their own people that are in diaspora. Mm-hmm. They believe that you have to be in Zim. So, Ola, we can't all make it in Zimbabwe. Mm-hmm. Some people, they are staying in UK. Yeah. Do you know, Kuti, even in South Africa, Panama producers, my TV presenters, my Zimbabweans, mm-hmm. Agurana, ACBC, yeah. Vajinj. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But you never know. What is on Gara? What we buy? Shout Abra, Rug Din. Ah, so they ain't Rug Din. My good to show Napa. All right, yeah. Alone. So they are just low. They are just down to earth. One go, one go, one go. They play it low. A good, good chicago. You know, you know, man. You know, you know. You know, you know. It's not exactly. like it, people. What kind of stuff you want to zany? It's all things. They know. Mm-hmm. It's not good to you. Are you are removing yourself from? Uh-huh. Obviously, how can you remove from yourself from? Your place where you are born. Aziti. You own a passport. You own a And it. You own a shiba ne shona. There's no way. Uzo. Yeah. <laughs> so, as long as you are shona, you should focus on Africa. No far to zata how you do it. So, my producers, imagine, Mr. Brown, you know, are not uh, uh, known yet. Mm. But they play a pivotal role uh, in the music industry. Mm. So, why is that? Li- uh, is it like that? Ah, zika no kupi. Among my producers, they play um, a big role. Even mono mnyiga macho mono. But the other thing I so recognize also. Do you want any of No, I, I, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not here to drop some names, but I'm just asking you as a producer as well. Because remember, you once, you were once not recognized, like what you're doing now. Mm. Mm. No, I think uh, in your branding, mm-hmm. isn't producer I think a to brand yourself to mm-hmm. extend way by people. Music is not like we take some tomatoes. We don't go and take some tomatoes. We don't take some tomatoes. We don't go a profit. We take a mom. Music in the kuto kuto kuto. You need to make sure that auto in the patience. Yeah. In the kuto we organized. In the kuto panish mo zuzu. So asuka kwanza kuit. So no kwanza kuit ono mo mo na snatch anything to lose. Yeah. So it's also it's a problem. We we want to live normal mm-hmm. in the world of entertainment. Wow. And this uh, this totally do two different things. I just see an association. Music is not married. You don't have to show people that you don't have man. <laughs> it's none of their business. Okay. You are a celebrity. Uh-huh. You have man. <laughs> you understand? You have so you have to you have to fake it. You <laughs> fake it until you make it. You understand? <laughs> they they believe. <laughs> no, that's the truth. Yeah. Because once you start showing your poverty, yeah. they never take you serious. Uh-huh. Yes. Okay, so um, you're one of the uh, very few, you know, Panama producers who made it thus far. Mm. So, had you been in Zimbabwe, uh, do you think you would have uh, had a breakthrough? Say, you No. Mm-hmm. Ah, no. Why? Because there's no competition in Zimbabwe. Oskid, Tamuka. That's not Siblet. a competition. Uh, that's what? They are doing different things. Mm. Oskiri does his own stuff. Mm-hmm. Tamuga does his own stuff. Mm-hmm. There's no a movement of competition in Zimbabwe. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying. In South Africa, there's more than 10 genres of music. Mm. Whereby there's I'm a piano, Afro house, Afro take, uh, hip hop. Mm-hmm. There is also uh, EDM. Mm. There's Afro soul. There's Afro... Ge- Here, there's only a certain gender mm-hmm. that you need to do for people to listen to you. Mm. So skillful wise, I sat up Okay. So obviously I was not gonna make it here because obviously obviously I have to like tap to the market that mm-hmm. we have here for me to be known. Mm. Like right now I'm supposed to do kudum kudum mm-hmm. kudum kudum. If I do kudum kudum in South Africa, they yeah. might not like it, you understand? Yeah. But if I do soulful I'm a piano in the house. Yeah. They might like it. Mm-hmm. That's why you know South Africa music is bigger. Music is actually a, a business mm-hmm. in South, South Africa. Africa. It business, mm-hmm. So, uh, in a week, 
can I snag two butter at 50,000 rent per, per, per day? Mm. This now shand. Per day? Yes. So you're actually a millionaire, right? I'm not a millionaire. Huh? I have responsibility, remember? Huh? I have a wife, I have a child. But still. Yeah. But still. Yeah, listen, I have a child, I have, I have my mom also, I have yeah. everyone that look on me. But still, 50,000 rand a day. Yeah, but also our lifestyle is very expensive. Uh -huh. You cannot expect me to go to a club and drink something for less than <laughs> 100, <laughs> 100 USD. I'm being honest. So uh, how much do you spend on drinks? No, nah, I don't on usually. I don't, I don't usually go out. Uh -huh. But when I go out, I must make sure I have more than 500, 500 USD. Yeah, that for drinks. Yes. Jeez, that's, a, that, that's like mm, someone's salary. Okay. <laughs> no, remember, remember, the promoters, they book you according to your value. Yeah. You can't go looking like looking 50 mm -hmm. US dollars and expect <laughs> to be getting paid 10,000. That's a very big You one. understand? Yeah. So they pay what they see. Mm, you I, see. I see, I see. So how do you view uh, music in Zimbabwe? It's our people are working. Mm -hmm. Let me be honest with you. Yeah. Our producers, they are working. Mm -hmm. It's just Uri, mm -hmm. we don't want to grow globally. Yeah. They got something chili rock and roll right now. Do nothing to talk about the gender. Do nothing to talk to shout the social media. Ah, chicha, exactly. Mm -hmm. But learn, we need to learn to break those boundaries. Mm -hmm. One day, no farango the album, re, rock and roll, kind of yeah. EDM, mm -hmm. where I'm not targeting anyone from Zim. Yeah. Because actually, the plate is bigger. Mm -hmm. There's money. In 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 uh, Afro take, mm -hmm. there's money in a piano. Yeah. There's money in even like uh, hip hop. You see, mm. it depends. With your moon, or good day, record and bottom comfort zone. Yeah, because you don't trip out to other market. Mm. That's why it's very it's 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 truth, but no repo. Cinema artists are not very big in Zimbabwe, yeah. and it, but they're not big. Artists are big. I can talk UK. I don't find a performer around the UK. Okay. Artists are big. I can do Botswana. I'm not going to perform for Botswana. Mm -hmm. That's me. If I go to Botswana, I play for Botswana. If I go to Asia, I play for South Africans. If I go to Malawi, I play for Malawians. That's what we call growth global. So you, in, in other words, you're saying you have arrived. You had... I'm not yet there, but uh -huh. I'm, that's where I'm going. Mm -hmm. To the extent whereby in Uganda, if I go there, I know Uganda. I know but, but do you think those guys know you that well? Dude, in Malawi, I'm like a president there. I'm yeah. telling you. If you go to Malawi, Malawi I had rain on me. That was the biggest song in Malawi. Mm. And I did not know that. Yeah. Nagato Gamshopa airport in a convoy. Whoa. And gonna ten cars. <laughs> Nema soldier. My guy. Nema soldier. Yes. To receive was, Mr. Brown? Yes. And when you arrived only at one, um, only for one song. And when you arrived at our own airport, no even not even a bicycle? Nah. <laughs> So you are not really appreciated here back home, Mr. Ah. Brown. <laughs> 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 okay. are, sometimes I don't say that you in a brown. Brown, I nah, know. <laughs> you want to come to Zim, bro? I'm like, ah, dude. <laughs> Who else did I say good? Of? <laughs> I'm not as Mr. Brown in South Africa here. Yeah. Hey, yeah, I'm just an ordinary Mr. Brown. Yeah. Did he, Mr. Brown, know that I can even walk? <laughs> <laughs> ah. Because they're not expecting to see yeah. me. Walking in public. Yeah, exactly. Last time, the guy see a mod. He got let me walk to the shops. Mm -hmm. Shops here in the guy in the every day. You know, uh -huh. guys, you know, Greendale. Yeah. You stay in Greendale. Mm -hmm. Shea Peters. Yeah. Is the one that gave me a place to stay. Oh yeah. Because I had uh, the guy with a problem, zang, mm -hmm. whatever, yeah. terms of what, everything. Mm -hmm. Then Shea gave me a place to stay. So place Shea Peters. Ah, brown. No, I can give you something. So mm -hmm. when you're starting, because remember. As an artist, mm -hmm. I'm always learning to start from scratch again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You see, so Shapi said, no, you can come stay with me mm -hmm. while you're still looking for your apartment. Because yeah. I needed a specific apartment. And I'm going to go to the gara. I'm going to go to the gara. I'm going to go to the Come to my house. I know, yeah. I know, yeah. I'm going to go to the pool. Mm -hmm. Everything. It's yeah. like a welcoming entertainment house. Yeah. Yeah. So I was looking for that. So I did not want to rush things. That I know I can stay with shape, so I stay mm. with shape. So one day I used to go to the shops at that lawn in Greendale. Mm -hmm. No shika papa, I don't know, tenga. people would not even recognize who mm. Mr. Brown is. I was, yeah, like, I was like, cool. <laughs> then this other day, at night, imagine, hey. someone saw me. Hey. It was a uh, car crowd. Picture after picture, I'm like, I wish that was another uh -huh. figure. So I was wearing pajamas. <laughs> oh, yes, <laughs> though, but that one's in one face. You're not going anyway. Avadi, no, I'm going to buy a bottle. I can't uh -huh. take that too much. Jack Daniels, I'm like, really? Yeah, I'm like, okay, yeah, 
But I was not even thinking that I didn't recognize her. Yeah. Yeah. So people actually, they see me and mm-hmm. they don't even, they don't like, running us got on Bozot in They cannot expect to see me. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I, I see. Yeah. So right now we've got so many producers in Zimbabwe. I know I've mentioned about uh, the likes of uh, Oskid, Tamuka, and so many others, you know. Why mm. producers here in Zimbabwe? I don't know how in Zimbabwe. Uh, my producers vano vane utorini my hands are mm-hmm. and they, they are good in that mm-hmm. you can tamunga is good what he's doing so that's what oskid is doing is good what he's doing mm-hmm. actually ni nini nini i'm not an uh, and this moon and are, are very i don't have that ego mm-hmm. they told tell that music you can buy the essay so that ah rules and done and the fact first time i was going to oskid he was actually a fan of me and I was a fan of him. Mm. You understand? Yeah. So the whole team, oh, you're a fan of young. Yeah. Oh, you're a fan of young. So that's yeah. me. Mm-hmm. Because in any of the music, and I'm not going to talk about it. Okay. And I'm not going to talk about it. Okay. Yeah. I'm not going to talk about it. Uh, because you that was the biggest producer. Mm-hmm. No. Mm-hmm. In those seconds, I'm not going to talk about it. So who is your favorite artist right now in Zimbabwe? Artist. Mm-hmm. Uh, the terror artist they said, Ola, mm-hmm. I'm being honest. But the terror artist, you don't even, I even listen to what Silent Killer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, Silent there's killer. a song, you know, the other one, you know, uh, uh, that's Silent Killer. This is what you have now, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was not gonna sing. No, that one is it's, 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 it's a radio friendly song, <laughs> okay, yeah, but you know, the hit, you know, I'm talking about exactly. I listen to that, yeah. Um, only 10, I was listening to it, it and we're supposed uh, to uh-huh. work on something together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I listen Wingy D. I grew up actually listening to Wingy D. To Wingy D. Yes. So are you maybe probably working on, or maybe hoping to? I really wish work with, uh, that. Wingy D. Yeah, I'm open to that, mm-hmm. and I wish we can have that feature yeah. anytime soon, mm-hmm. because that's one of the p- artists that I'm looking forward to work with. It's okay. that's like a role model to mm, me. Yeah. Mm. And uh, you've made a few collabs back home. Anything else say uh, in the pipeline? We have international collaboration mm-hmm. right now, and we have Miss Daisy. Mm-hmm. She's my first artist in Zimbabwe. Miss Daisy. Yeah, she's here. Okay. And I'm not gonna sign any any other artist. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be here alone. Why? Because Are it's, you it's, not, it's not like to be responsible of someone. Mm. This life is very difficult. Mm. Ola. Uh, her problems must be my problems. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. She must not have problems of like simple things mm-hmm. of like. Because I'm now responsible of the career, yeah, so I must yeah. make sure that I must always be there. Imagine mm-hmm. having three artists mm. or ten artists. Well, good to proud, dude. I need to do makeup, mm-hmm. dude. Uh, makeup artist, too. Yeah, <laughs> chichi. So, so imagine hey, around hey, ten hey, people hey, hey. already. You, only, you have your own career of music mm-hmm. to to do. That's why I, I didn't want to sign anyone. But I think it was the first time where I decided that I need to. Na Miss Daisy. Yes. Magango sanga na ma street. Taka sanga na ma. My streets, you can't my streets, it sounds very <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whatever, you know, I I met, I met, yeah, I met uh, uh, in Hatfield. Hatfield. Mm. So, um, we are you know left with uh, very few months uh, to complete the year. Anything you have uh, in store for us? Yeah, man, we have uh, area, area ne Uber, mm-hmm. um, Mr. Brown, just signal, and Melinda, the vocalist. Yeah, yes. That song I posted on my uh, social people mm-hmm. won that song. Yeah. Uh, we have a feature with Akon also still still have more songs to come. Mm-hmm. I have song I'm doing with uh G Naku from mm-hmm. Tanzania. Mm-hmm. And I have um the one also with my cousin Macheso. Mm-hmm. And um hopefully I spoke to Japraise about a feature he said any time. Yeah. And I've also worked with Japraise mm-hmm. and Tira. I think Jab Prezer, we have two songs that we've worked together. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But that song is for DJ Tira and Jab Prezer. And they got to run the management there. You can say, Brown, anytime. Anytime. Yeah. yeah. There's more projects to come. Mm-hmm. Actually, I have an album called Genesis. Mm-hmm. It was supposed to be called Zim Ama Piano, but the car, she can have a social media oh yeah That's there's why. no such thing like zima oh yeah but the idea i'm going to grow a music can I grow a piano to a different mm, you know? level yeah so zimbabwe to name a piano head of foot in mbira so why don't we introduce the new sound yes so actually, so actually, actually that's what you did on genesis and genesis is something else it's so for my piano mm. genesis uh it's Genesis is the new beginning of Mr. Bra as, in, uh, as an independent artist. Oh, okay. Someone said you should sign uh, Cello Culture. 
Selo Couch is a great guy. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's so humble. Mm-hmm. And uh, sometimes, you know, I don't catch him from the mm-hmm. Selo Couch. I know Selo Couch from Pretoria. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Selo Couch, how can I be say? Exactly. Because the way you're so quiet, bro. Exactly. Then run the career. The character I have, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Someone said that you should sign him. I don't want to sign. Mm-hmm. Maybe, reg- maybe, just, maybe just recording? Uh, yeah, recording. We can. We still. We, we did something. Yeah, with, just with because uh, of our time, my brother. You know, I would love to meet. Mm. Um, what I can say, Nini, Ola, uh, is like um, Mr. Brown's gonna remain who he is. Mm-hmm. For those who are doing music, they must not. What's that terrorist without mm-hmm. our change by social media? Because social media in Zimbabwe is mm-hmm. just toxic. That's the fact. It's toxic. <laughs> so you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so how uh, how can people get in touch with you, my brother? Uh my Facebook page Mr. Brown Music. Mm-hmm. And uh by Instagram it's Mr. Brown SA. Mm-hmm. And then by TikTok it's Mr. Brown Muimbi. Muimbi. I had to balance. Oh Muimbi Mr. music and SA. Yeah. Okay. Thank mm-hmm. you so much for coming, my brother. Yeah, yeah. That was uh, Mr. Brown, all the way from South Africa. Yeah, he's big in South Africa, yet to be big in Zimbabwe. But you guys, you should support this guy. You know, <laughs> let's support. Let's give him support. Ah, Dad, I'm not sure you, man. <laughs> yeah, Wingy D, you're yeah. the net. <laughs> <laughs> you can follow me on Instagram at DJ Ola Seven. My Facebook page DJ Ola Seven Type M. Of course, my Twitter handle slash X handle at DJ Ola underscore Seven. Don't forget to follow us on the big one at Star FM Zimbabwe. It's eight o'clock. Time for the news. Bye bye. This is Zim Papers Radio Broadcasting News. Thank you.